congratulations on making it this far. Thank you. Thank you for your long suffering. We are getting through this together. I hope you are emailing me the answers to the homework sections. And I hope I am responding with at least an acknowledgement that I've gotten it. And if there are any questions or conversations you want to have as a result of these videos, please, please, please reach out. I'm available. We will, at the end of these sessions, um, if you'll let me, I will take um, you out to lunch and we'll have a long conversation and questions and answers about this class and make sure that we're on, uh, on target. This is session six, video number seven. And section, uh, session six is about evangelism and discipleship, which speaks directly to our, our mission, our mission. As a member of Layton Hills Baptist Church, evangelism, missions, and discipleship are expert activities and processes. Uh, expert, expected activities and processes. What is evangelism? What do you do? Evangelism is sharing our faith in Jesus Christ with the lost. It's one-on-one -on -one or to a group. One-on-one -on -one or to a group. What is missions? What do you do? Missions is serving God cross-culturally and or sharing our faith in Jesus Christ cross-culturally. It almost involves, it almost always involves uh, travel to get to that cross-cultural experience. What is discipleship? What do you do? Discipleship is training and growing in spiritual maturity within our relationship with Jesus Christ. I, I want to define these terms before we can talk about them. <clears throat> Evangelism, missions, and discipleship absolutely overlap. Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 through 20 says, Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded to you commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. That's Matthew 28 verses 19 through 20. What we call, we've labeled it the Great Commission. The Greek verb translated go here, therefore go and make disciples, is actually not a command, but a present participle, going. The only command in the entire Great commission is make disciples. Jesus said, while you are going, make disciples of all the nations. Make disciples. No matter where you are, you should be witnessing for Jesus Christ and seek to win others to him. Evangelism alone is not the commission. After people are one, their souls are saved, they should be baptized, which suggests a local church fellowship. They should also be taught, which suggests the teaching and preaching of the word of God. Please keep in mind that our commission is not simply to win souls. It is to make disciples, which includes winning souls so that souls are saved by the power of the Holy Spirit in the blood of Jesus Christ and bringing them into Christian fellowship, connecting them with other believers in Jesus Christ in this community of faith, and then building them up in the faith. While we thank God for every Christian ministry that is true to the Lord and his word, whatever is done should be tied to the local community of faith, the local church. A Christian redeemed by Jesus can be a disciple of Jesus. A disciple is a person following Jesus' teachings, life, and commandments. A disciple is a redeemed person who is committed to and developing toward Christ-likeness displaying his character, his attitudes, his actions, his lifestyle in obedience to a personal commitment 
to his or her relationship with God. The evidence of a disciple is a lifestyle of love, evangelism, prayer, scripture memory, accountability, stewardship, and service. A disciple is characterized by a commitment to the discipleship process. A disciple is characterized by a redeemed person under development toward Christ-likeness. It is a proactive process. Disciple-making is relational modeling toward Christ-likeness. Discipleship is a never-ending process that follows phases. Evangelism, engagement, equipping, and accountability. Discipleship is not a book or a classroom experience. It is mentoring. It is extremely relationship oriented. It's walking with a person through life. That's discipleship. Through the good, the bad, the short term, the long term. A disciple's aim is toward greater Christ-likeness, greater conformity in, to God-centeredness instead of self-centeredness. Christ-likeness is evidenced in broad terms by love, service, trust, obedience, power, and spiritual disciplines. Discipleship is an ongoing process that continues through all stages of life. Programmed discipleship is the systematic and deliberate teaching of doctrine and modeling of the Christian lifestyle in order to build Christ-like followers of Jesus. Scripture details seven proofs proofs of discipleship, seven proofs of discipleship, such as leaving kindred, Luke chapter 14, verse 25, hating your own life, Luke 14, verse 26, bearing the cross, Luke 14, verse 27, forsaking possessions, Luke 14, verse 33, continuing in God's word, Jesus' word, John 8, Verse 31, loving one another, John 13, 33, and bearing fruit, John 15, 8. Let's be living moment to moment evangelism, missions, and discipleship. We're doing great with the timing. <laughs> and you didn't think I could do that. I hear you. All right, homework. Please email me in a brief paragraph, explain your past experience with evangelism, missions, and discipleship, and how you will walk with Leighton Hills Baptist Church in these activities. I want to know so I can get to know you better and so I can help you. If I'm not responding to your emails with an, at least an acknowledgement that I have received them, I probably am not receiving them. Please double check. Please text me to make sure I am getting them. And if you have any questions um, or want to have a specific conversation about a specific session and can't wait till the end, please reach out to me. I'm available for you. Let's, let's talk about it. One more session to go.